There's all sorts of things in our daily diet that are fermented. It's breads, it's alcohols, ginger beers, vegetables, and fermented fruits as well. So pretty much anything that grows, we ferment. That's a microbial process that's kind of unique on the market. It's not pickling, it's fermentation. Scotty's Fermented Foods is a food company that's based around fermented foods. What I specifically do is live culture fermented foods, which is a living anaerobic bacteria that's cultivated on there. We preserve that. We leave it living, which is extremely healthy and beneficial for the gut bacteria. I'm Scotty Sheridan, owner of Scotty's Fermented Foods here in Houston, Texas. Skating is the way I take the pressure off my existence. Going on and skating is a way to forget everything I'm doing. While you're doing it, you're completely in the moment. You wake up thinking about your business, you go to sleep thinking about your business, and I have a little reprieve when I go skating, and, and during when I'm skateboarding, I'm only skateboarding. When I started my business, I was not a food person. Uh, I come from a skate shop, and I was getting into it for its health benefits. So I started looking into it, and I just read testimonial after testimonial online about how powerful fermented foods and living bacterial foods can be. And so I went to the supermarket to find some, and it wasn't there. And so I went to the farmer's market, and it wasn't there either. So I decided to make some, and I, I made my first batch of sauerkraut, and I could not believe how delicious it was. And between the health benefits and how delicious it was, I decided to go into business. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas, and that was in the early 70s when Houston was not quite the town it is now. Houston has heart. And while a lot of people come here for their business opportunities, a lot of people are transferred here and things of that nature, once they're here, a lot of people realize that this is a good town. There's resources for just about anything you're into. And that's so encouraging, exciting, especially when you're getting to something niche like fermented foods. The average day at Scotty's Fermented Foods is a pretty early start. There's a lot of different things that go on with making, preserving, jarring, and this and that. I'll also be caught up in marketing, tons and tons of paperwork. When I first started Scotty's Fermented Foods, I had a lot of people snickering because the association was with rotten foods. And it, it's far from it. You know, this is a, a cultivated process. And in fact, anaerobic bacterial growth on the foods makes it more savory for us. I recommend using sea salt or Himalayan salt or natural salt. Right. Table salt is actually hungry salt. I use the farmer's market as a testing ground so I can get feedback and try this out and sample things and experiment. And so I've used this as a way of springboarding into the supermarkets where I take my finished products. That I'm trying to create the wave that I'm going to be riding. And this is something that I do where I'm not just about selling my product, I'm about getting people to ferment in their kitchens and realizing how easy and how effective a way of this for preservation of food and for preparing a food this is. Fermented foods are a cultural phenomenon. Every culture that's ever existed fermented their foods. It's only refrigeration that has alienated fermented foods to a part of our past. In terms of skating, Houston has always been one of the main skating meccas. Houston is a wonderful place for that. There's so much community. There's gigantic races and contests and all sorts of things that occur here. Houston is made up of a lot of people who have moved here for job opportunities and other type things, but there's also a tremendous immigrant community here that gives it a diversity that you don't see in many other places. But it really is a nice place to live just because at one point in time, this was a very Texas town, as my dad would call it, a good old boy town. And now it's so far from that. Now this is really a, a wonderfully diverse place to live.